Good morning. This is Luke Thomas Holmquist here at the Earthquake Forecast Center, quakeprediction.com. And it is six in the morning, six sharp in the morning on Saturday, August 24th, 2024. 6 a.m., six in the morning on Saturday, August 24th, 2024. And our forecast has been doing extremely well. Let's take a look at uh, current situation. Okay, we got a 4.3 earthquake here out near uh, Walker Lane, Nevada, close to Hawthorne, Nevada, uh, which is uh, in southwest. Well, actually, it's in the western portion of Nevada. And you can see this is where that earthquake hit right there uh, in the close to the 68% uh, risk area there in uh, in western Nevada. We were expecting something more up in the uh, Petrolia area. We did get a, a 2.9 up in the Petrolia area. However, the more significant quake happened right over here in uh, Western Nevada in Hawthorne in the 68% uh, risk area. Now, this is the area of concern for August 28th, 29th, where a, a strong earthquake is likely to hit um, in the San Francisco Bay up to uh, western Nevada, maybe in the same area near Hawthorne again. But a strong earthquake is likely on the 28th to the 29th of August in either the San Francisco Bay or here up uh, near uh, Carson City, Reno, Nevada, or near Hawthorne, Nevada. Somewhere in that area, strong earthquake the 28th and 29th. Just a quick review this system has been working extremely well. Uh, all the significant earthquakes uh, in the last uh, couple months have been uh, working, been pinpointed exactly. Back on July 29th, um, we forecasted a significant earthquake to hit in San Bernardino County, and it was a 4.9 in that area. And then on August 6th, we predicted a strong earthquake to hit in Southern California, and it was a 5.2 in Kern County here. And then in Los Angeles, a uh, 4.4 hit. We were expecting it on the 10th and the 11th of August. It hit on the 12th of August, right there in Los Angeles, 4.4. And then we had an area of 95% risk area northwest of uh, Las Vegas, and a 4.4 hit exactly bullseye in that uh, area. And then our risk shifted down to Orange County and San Diego County and Western Riverside, and that's exactly where a 3.9 uh, later changed to a 3.6 hit in our warning area in that area. So this this uh, forecast method is working extremely well. And we could show examples in uh, Alaska and Japan as, as, uh, as well. Um, this forecast is working great there as well. So here it is. Strong earthquake is likely the 28th and 29th in the San Francisco Bay to Hawthorne, Nevada, Reno, Nevada, Carson City, Nevada, Lake Tahoe area. Uh, San Francisco Bay, strong earthquake in that area on the 28th into the 29th. In Alaska, um, pretty high risk here in the Anchorage area, expecting a 4.0 to 5.0 on the 26th to the 27th. That is coming up sooner. August 26th to 27th, 4.0 to 5.0 in the Anchorage area. In Japan, this is even sooner from the 24th to the 25th. So in the next uh, 36 hours, looking for a strong earthquake in the area from uh, Kumamoto, Miyazaki, up to Kochi uh, and Osaka, this area in the south and west portion of Japan, looking for a strong uh, 5.0 to 6.0 earthquake is likely in that area during the next 36 hours. And once again, <clears throat> this is where that 4.3 earthquake hit there in uh, western Nevada. And we're looking for a strong earthquake in the San Francisco Bay to western Nevada area, the 28th and 29th of August, 4.0 to 5.0 near Anchorage, 26, 27. And during the next 36 hours in uh, western and southern Japan, 5.0, 6.0 earthquake is likely in this portion of South and Western Japan. Thanks for your support. Over 283,000 followers across the world uh, for Quake Prediction on social media. 
and uh, almost 20 years of research, uh, many years of earthquake research here at quakeprediction.com. Thanks for your support. Uh, the forecast is extremely accurate now, so be on the alert in southern and western Japan and also in uh, San Francisco Bay to Hawthorne, Nevada area, Nevada area uh, on the 28th and the 29th of August. Thank you, and we'll talk to you very soon. And this is Luke Thomas Humquist, QuakePrediction.com. Thank you.